Hello and welcome back to another showcase. Now, situation. You want to become a Lothric Knight. That's what you want to play as. Problem. You don't know what you want. Do you want an axe or a spear? Axe or spear? Do you want something that's long and pointy? Or something that chops really good? Quite the predicament. Well, it would be if there wasn't an answer. You think, why have one or the other when you have both? ST, you're a madman. But then you remember, there is the halberd. <laughs> uh, yes, the combination of a spear and an axe. The halberd. Very, very common weapon back in medieval times. Also, his army was armed with him once upon a time. The description reads, His long, hithered weapon, mixed with spear and axe, is difficult to handle, requiring both strength and dexterity. Can be thrust like a spear or swept sideways like an axe, making a versatile weapon effective against multiple foes. Its skill is the charge. Hold the, the halbert at the waist and charge at a foe. Use strong attacks while charging to extend the length of the charge. So, pretty much you got the idea. You get your both your horizontal movements and your jabs. And maybe some vertical too. Now, that's pretty much how it looks. Well, it's a halberd. <laughs> no, though to be honest, there's no real one I've ever seen. I've seen a couple, but... Mm, not one like that has spear point like that. The axe is a bit exaggerated. Most real halberds are a bit smaller in terms of axe heads. The beard of the axe, anyway. Okay, for stats. Well, starting off, we got actually quite a good, pretty good physical there. 125. Very good. The attribute bonus is meh. Two Ds. Starting off, that may change in upgrades. The attribute requirements. You need a bit of strength and a little bit of dexterity, as they asked. Now the charge. You got pretty much 13 points of mana cost. The weight. Uh, it's okay. It's 0.8. Or 8.0 is what I meant to say. So it could be better. Otherwise, it's okay. Then again, you got a multi purpose weapon here. And that's the idea, is to cover enemies at different ranges in different scenarios. Someone's in the hallway, you can usually take them down. Someone's in open field, you got a chance. But anyway, the animations, while the plant attack, it's a spear jab. Power attack, is a large thrust, or not thrust, sideways lunge. And for the two-handed version, well, plant attack is again, spear thrust. No imagination there. Now, the power one is a kind of like a spinning attack. Now, the charge attack, well, you, you get the idea. <laughs> and the speed attack is just a downward lunge there. Now, for upgrades, as I figured, the attribute bonus gets upgraded. The dexterity side, anyway, which is strange since it requires more strength to wield this. But, no matter. At least the dexterity goes up. But in terms of damage, you get well, you get 12 damage, which is alright. It's one point more than most, most other weapons you get. Next one's even just as fine. You get 13. The tribute bonus is still the same, though. And we get damage pretty damn quick. We're almost at 200. And it doesn't look like their strength tribute's gonna change, unfortunately. But we do almost double the damage. Well, I'd say almost, but come close. Now, how does it do in the field? Well, you get a lot of versatile, pretty much, movement here. Critical is okay. It's okay. But, I don't know, the charge attack like that, uh, it takes time to... Well, the power attack charge up is too long, in my opinion, to be useful. Because you're sitting there, you're waiting. And almost every time I use it, I get hit. But otherwise, the damage is okay. This weapon's not but the best, not really an excellent spear or excellent axe. It's supposed to do both. 
that does both okay. Not saying perfect, but eh, does the job okay. Got no other words for it. Now I wanted to try and break through his guard with that attack, but the problem is, the well, buddy here was feeling really energetic today. For all, all three fights, he just came at me every time. And I got sick of fighting him. <laughs> so no matter what I did, I couldn't really get through his shield because he never l would let me. He never gave me a time when he actually wanted to defend. Always wanted to attack. But no matter, I'll test this the, the move on probably bigger opponents. In the end, I didn't get to try. So, you hit up pretty good against medium-sized opponents, what about large opponents? Now, Gorgal, these fights can go two ways. It can go very nicely, or very poorly. And I hate that damn move. Now, the question is, can the helper get through that giant's guard? Maybe. Nope. Not, can't get through it. Unfortunately not. At least I don't get staggered. Is that. So it's mm, mediocre against a giant. Damage is okay though. Now against the, some of the stronger foes. The Black Knight. Now, in terms of damage, it's okay. I'm just glad that you don't really ricochet off their shield whenever you strike them. He wants to break through the shields, but he doesn't reflect you, which is good. Because that actually results in death pretty quickly. But oh well, it did okay. Now on some pros and... Alright, so on the pro side, we got pretty good damage. It's good. You got the animations of a spear and an axe combined. And also it has good reach. So that pretty much does it for the pros. On the con side, it doesn't do the axe or spear job excellent. It's okay. Because I'll just put that as a con, it's okay. <laughs> and it's a little bit on the hefty side. With 8.0 weight. But to be honest, those are the two cons I can think of. So, it's alright. And there you have it. You've chosen your weapon. Whether you're defending the queen or trying to ignite the old flame, this weapon's probably right for you. Well, guarantee that you will be pretty much have an easy time with this weapon. You won't have to switch a whole lot. The only thing I could see you do differently is probably switching to a faster weapon. That's the only thing this weapon doesn't have. But the speed was okay. It's just that one move that was a bit slow. And when I did try the charge, it was okay. <laughs> but no matter. Thank you for watching and see you next time.